So the thing about decluttering is it's quite like an ogre. I mean onion. It has multiple layers and each one will make you cry. Hi! Yeah, so we're back here again. I feel like I literally just did this. But every time I remove one layer of stuff that I no longer need, I find more stuff underneath just lurking. So today's just gonna be a really quick spring cleaning decluttering session. I realized after the last video there's a lot of stuff that I really do need to try on because I just haven't worn it in a long time and I'm not sure how I feel about it or if it even still fits. But before I get into that I do want to try a different approach. I'm gonna start by pulling out everything that is a favorite item, everything that I know for sure I'm definitely not parting with and see what that looks like and then go from there. Okay, so first things first, I've got this box of stuff that I was gonna send to thread up to see if I could sell it, but they have not been accepting cleanout kits for like three months now, and I just need it gone, so I think this automatically just needs to be donated. And then I already have a bag of stuff to be donated that I started probably last month. I kind of always just have a bag in the back of the closet to throw in things as I realize that I no longer want them, so obviously this stuff is going, so I'll just move this out as well. Can you stop crinkling, please? Thanks. And then the first thing I'm going to do is pull out everything that is not an absolute favorite. So the only stuff I'm gonna leave in the closet for the time being is stuff that I know without a doubt I am not parting with because I love it. Um, everything else I'm just gonna pile on the bed and then we'll go from there. But you know what? I'm just gonna skip ahead and not subject you to a time lapse. So I'll see you in a moment. All right, so the only stuff I have left in here right now is my absolute favorite things. So let me show you that real quick. I'm not left with very much. <laughs> So all that we're left with for dresses are a few florals, a couple plaids, some black trousers, this blazer, a couple cardigans, a couple black blouses, my mesh top, um, a couple ivory tops. I'm seeing a very clear color pattern emerge here. If I only leave my two favorite skirts, that again leaves plaid and floral. Hmm, also seeing a trend here. And then a few sweaters, my favorite flannel. Less of a pattern here, but surprisingly a lot of color. Oh, and my black jeans. So now that I've established my top favorite items, I'm going to put back anything that's a basic piece that I get a lot of use out of, anything that is too recently acquired for me to have really tried it out yet, as well as anything that's like a second tier favorite, just because I don't want the try on portion to take hours because it's already midnight. <laughs> Like, I know for a fact I'm not getting rid of any of my jeans. I've worn them all recently enough to know that they fit. I get a lot of use out of them. I've got a good variety here. I'm gonna just put these back. Same thing for these two shorts that I recently thrifted. I know that they fit because I literally just tried them on. And then this pair of stretchy burnt orange ones. They're stretchy and comfortable, so definitely keeping those. These trousers might not be my absolute top favorites, but I do quite like all of them. They each provide a little bit of variety and I do find them quite useful to have. I also really dig my flannel collection, but I'm definitely keeping these. Now the question is, do I hang up or do I fold this? I'm gonna try hanging it for a while. I don't think this will damage it, we'll see. Blazers. Okay, so now I've got everything back in my wardrobe that I know for certain I am not parting with at this time. The pile on the bed is a little bit more manageable now for doing a try on. So let me get that set up and I'm just gonna try to rapid fire, try everything on, not tell you an anecdote about every item and where I acquired it or what it means to me and just try to power through this because um, I, I don't wanna be up forever. If you ever wonder why I talk so quietly in these decluttering sessions, it's because it's the middle of the night and I'm trying not to disturb anyone. All right, so now I'm going to try on everything else that I have left out. Some of these things I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get rid of, but I just want to be sure that I like them, that they fit okay, that kind of thing. So this is anything that I just need to check on. Hi, Editing Melody here. I hate having to interrupt my own videos, but I did want to mention that I actually ended up getting rid of a lot more than I initially stated in the video when filming, and that's mostly because I changed my mind while reviewing the footage. Viewing myself in something in a mirror is very different than in a video. I think sometimes video can give more objective distance than just looking in a mirror, so there are quite a few things that I initially said I was keeping that I've decided to actually get rid of. <laughs> so. I'm going to edit the video in a way that reflects that rather than what I initially had said while filming and, and hopefully that will just make it clear enough. Anyway. 
I find myself always keeping little cardigans like this because I'm like, well, what if I need to go to a slightly dressy event and I need a little sweater to put over a dress or something? I just really haven't had that many dressy events since college. Like there would be award ceremonies and stuff, but I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to have occasion to wear this. And even if I did, it doesn't feel like me. It feels like the costume of someone who was very professional. It's kind of the same thing with this one. I keep this mostly for if I need something a little more put together. I've worn this on multiple occasions over like business casual stuff, but I do like this one more for some reason, so I'll keep it for now. Why don't I ever wear this? This is nice. Uh, what? I don't think there's ever been a day when I'm like, you know what this outfit needs? A black cardigan. A plain black, no pocket having cardigan. Uh, so this can go too. Although I really like how this blazer looks on me, it's just really tight around the arms, which makes me not want to wear it. Therefore, it needs to go. Just do it! Okay, so here is a prime example of how viewing myself in video actually helped me declutter a few more items. I mean, just look at my body language. I just don't look that happy. I kind of look insecure and unsure of myself in this cardigan, so it needs to go. I'm really torn about this one as well. I'm thinking the main reason I keep this is because I love the little elbow patches, which actually are too high. That's not even my elbow. The knit of it, the color doesn't excite me. The sleeves are too short. I have been unable to part with this sweater because I love this color. It is one of my absolute favorites, but the cut of it just does not suit me. It's too much loose fabric around my face and not like in a scarf way, just in an obnoxious way. This is actually not that comfortable, but I've had this sweater since childhood, so I'm not about to get rid of it now. This is gonna go <laughs> in storage under the bed. Have we cycled through 2012 styles yet or is this still chingy? Cause you know, obviously I'm gonna make my style choices on the opinions of 15 year olds that I don't know. Storage. This has somewhat of the same problem as the pink one, like there's just too much around the neck. And honestly, I'm not loving the color. It's a little bit too light, I think. I was not expecting to part with this. But the thing is, if I saw this at the thrift store, I probably would not buy it. And I have that darker brown turtleneck that I actually am really liking right now, so I think I can let this one go. Why is this so hard? Just let it go, let it go, Melody, let it go. Is it weird that I'm kind of bored of this shirt, but I'm not ready to part with it? Although I'm wondering how the heck the sleeves got shorter. Like, I know my arms didn't grow. It's a mystery. I think I bought this sweater vest a little bit small. I mean, like, it fits. I just would prefer a looser fit, but I'm gonna keep it for now until I replace it. <laughs> it looks dumb. I really like this sweater vest, but I never end up wearing it. I guess I just don't know what to wear it with other than a plain white blouse, but I don't want to do that all the time. I, I know it looks goofy over this t-shirt, just ignore that, okay? So maybe this is a candidate for whenever I do another round of styling clothes I never wear. I go back and forth on whether this should be in my closet or just in my fabric stash because it's the most lovely black velvet, but I don't really know how to wear this and Right now, I kind of just feel like Angel. No? A little bit? I'll, uh, I'll leave it in the closet for now. Oh, no. Um. Yeah, these gotta go. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm wearing a diaper. Like, there's just, there's, there's just no fabric. No. No. I'm a little torn because sometimes I feel really frumpy when I wear these, and other times I really like them. I was thinking about selling these, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe I should put them in the box. Maybe... I don't know. Again, the color is what I'm hung up on. I love this color so much. I don't care for the fabric. It's a very cheap like polyester and I don't care for the elastic on the waistband. I could try to remove the elastic and then add some princess seams, add some darts and like just, I don't know, make it normal looking, not with an elastic waistline. It's really late. My, my brain is, is shutting down. 
I need to wear this out at least once before I can say whether or not I should keep it. I'm so indecisive today. This dress is so pretty, but I do think it is time to move on from it. It's just getting a little bit snug. When I looked at pictures of myself wearing it the last time I wore it out, I just didn't think it looked that good on me. It's a beautiful dress. That's why <laughs> this is difficult, but um, it's not the best for me. I think I will try to sell this. I like this one so much, but it's so tight on my rib cage. It fits pretty okay if I don't wear a bra, but it's still really snug. Well, if I breathe from my diaphragm, it's fine. I never really need to wear this anyway. Okay, I should, I should just let this one go. I'm so frustrated because this skirt has not fit since pretty much immediately after I bought it. Maybe it shrunk in the wash. I don't know, I might try to resize it because I really like this color, uh, but if I can't manage that, then it will go. I don't think I'm ever going to need this. This skirt hasn't fit for a while, but I've been in denial about it because it's one of my favorites. I think what I'm gonna do just because I, I physically cannot part with it. I'm gonna put it in the storage box under my bed and then scour the internet for a replacement. Then I can let this one go. I think this is another one for storage because I do really like it, but it's not totally my style right now. I just feel very attached to it because this came from a dress that I had back in high school and the little poppies just make me happy. You know, I should have been wearing this over tights all winter, but I just, haven't figured out what to wear it with other than that, so I thought it was kind of cool because it's a skirt but a cargo skirt. I thought it was a little bit different, but I haven't figured out exactly what to do with it yet, so I should really figure out how to wear this because it's kind of cool. So it's after two in the morning. Why, why did I do this? I, I didn't need to film another decluttering or organizing video, I could have just gone to bed and not posted a video for three weeks and just, you know, let the algorithm stomp all over me. It's fine. I don't, I don't need to post content. Anyway, here's everything that I'm getting rid of. Plus another garbage bag full and that box of stuff I never sent to thread up. So definitely not as big of a change as last time. And if you couldn't already guess, I'm definitely not going through my dresser at this time because I want to sleep. That'll have to wait for another day, but I do know there are some things in there that I can get rid of, but I'll, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> okay, brain juice is gone. Bye. So the th these trousers, trousers, mm, trousers. This bra is terrible. What is going on with my hair? What are you doing? 